Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, well, I got the Camaro all completed and the, and the uh, Catalina is all completed. So this is the next one on the bench. And well, it's not necessarily the next one on the bench. I got two other ones that I'm in the middle of, but uh, this one I'm gonna break open. I wanna get this ready for the show, so. And I'm looking forward to actually doing this. I've had this kit in my stash for uh, eight or 10 years now. So, I, and every time I go near it, I'm like, oh, I wanna do it. Uh, I found something different, so. So uh, now I am going to do this and we gotta get it done, so. Uh, and hopefully I can do this kit justice. <clears throat> so let's do a what's in the box, see what's in the box. So I really haven't touched the kit, so excuse me while I'm shaking the box around. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. I'm gonna put this phone down for just a sec. All right, fellas, here we are. And uh, at the end of this video, I think I'm gonna do a, a stash uh, kit update that I uh, I was at Andy's the other day and I met some people and I ended up buying some kits and and uh, and they're a little bit older kits, so we'll, we'll check them out. So here's the body. Let's see, the body looks. Pretty good, I'll take it out of this plastic in a bit. A little bit of cleanup there maybe. And a little here. Like no eh, it's a normal kit, but it should be pretty easy. It's all smooth. No sanding through nothing, so it should be real easy. Piece of cake. So this kit comes with the convertible piece and I'll probably paint it up I won't use it here's the, the dash the seats the hood some suspension stuff it's like a starter distributor water pump differential uh, belts pulleys radiator seats did I say that yes I did probably the chrome package, I'll open this later, but I've got ideas of the color scheme I want to go, so uh, some of this stuff's going to be stripped. The chrome's going to be stripped off. I'm not going to strip... I'm not using these. I'm going to use these. Uh, let me see. I might keep... I don't know if I'm going to keep any chrome. I might just do it black. So I know that this, this here... I'm going to do black. I'm going to strip it. I'll strip the steering wheel for sure. I'm going to strip these pipes, the side pipes. I'm going to do them black and clean them all up. I don't think I'll be using the carburetors. I'll be using something different probably. I'm going to strip that manifold for sure. There's got to be a lot of chrome stripping on this kit. And, and for the obvious reasons, you guys, you guys know how I get anyway, so... Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna strip some of that. So let's see what else is in here. Here's the 427 in its halves in glory. Some more suspension. It's the bottom frame and pan. I'll take that off. I always take it off. So I might cut some things and make them real lines, and we'll see what happens. We'll just. We'll just see what happens. Once I start getting into something, I start uh, going overboard. So this this simple looking kit can be very complicated by the time it's done. Looks like a fender well, is it? Nope, that's a firewall. Wow. The interior tub. The heads, the shifter, is that the shifter? No, it's not the shifter. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Let's uh, check out the tires. And get the clear, pretty simple. 
Simple, clear. I like that. Uh, tires. Yeah, I like that. Somebody else did a kit, uh, and it was a Revell. And man, they did a great job on it. They bought some aftermarket wheels, and man, that thing just the, the paint on that thing was so luscious, man. Yeah, I mean, I think his name is Marcos. I mean, if you guys see that somewhere, check his build out. It's great. Here's the decals. I'll probably use those. So, yes, indeed. hoping they're not yellowed so I'm hoping they're not because that's what's making the car usually is a white stripe so all right well let me put this back and I'll show you a couple of kits I got all right well I went there I went there to buy some semi-gloss Tamiya before he ran out of it again. So I bought a few of those because I like using that stuff. And then uh, he bought somebody's stash, so I used that to prop my phone up. So anyway, uh, I bought the 51 Fleetline, Chevy Fleetline. I think I can do a lot of stuff with this kit. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. So uh, we'll do a what's in the box if you guys would like. I found this vintage kit. This kit is uh, the 56 that has all the opening doors and the hoods and everything. I probably can do a lot with this. That's why I bought it. And my wife actually pointed this stuff out before I even was able to go in the back. I didn't even know he bought a collection. So I also bought... 55 like that which this is one of my favorite cars of all time is the 55 Chevy and and I like a lot of I'm into all kinds of cars I guess I have a vintage Chevy I got a vintage Ford I, I, so I'm into all that so uh, so but this this here is gonna be a nice kit I, I hope you know uh, what else did I get I bought <laughs> The 59 Cadillac and what I liked about this kit well this kit I mean it who doesn't like the 59 Cadillac I like the 59 the 60 the 61 the 62 I like all of them so uh, I actually had a 62 so in real life but what I liked about this kit is it was the hard pack version the the ones they repopped I'm pretty sure they were all convertible so so uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a little bit of a what's in the box. What's in the box? See it? No, done. Okay, so uh, for the grand finale of cars that I I found, I know I'm doing a lot of shaking here. So, so I actually got my hands on one of these. Bam. So this kid, I get. I, you know, I've been looking at the old. Camaros like this. I used to have one like this a long time ago, and I've gotten an, I actually got in some trouble with it. But anyway, uh, I want to build this kit, and I know everybody's like, "Don't open it." And I ran into Luca C up there, and he's all, "I don't have the heart to open it." And I told him, "Well, you know, I'm gonna buy this thing, and I got a dark heart. I'm gonna open this thing." So. I am going to do a what's in the box on this and it might make some of you mad because uh, because some of you guys will tell me not to <laughs> not to open the kit but I'm a builder not a collector and that's just the bottom line so uh, I actually I hope I don't make too many people mad when I open this kit because a lot of people are looking for it from what I understand a lot, and even when I bought it it was like you're going to make a lot of people mad if you open that but but I got it at a real good price. Sandy treats me good, so. Uh, I'm gonna open it, I'll do what's in the box, maybe even at the next video, uh, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Pretty soon I'm gonna do what's in the box just to, just to get it open, rip the Band-Aid off. So, uh, 
that's about it for uh for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed the what's in the box and uh agree on the new the new upcoming build which is the shelby but uh i might even do this this year I'll, i definitely get open it whether it's not done this year or it's done next year it's, it's getting open so uh and that's all I got for today. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the Camaro vid. Uh, that'll be in Vegas. So if any of you guys go to Vegas, you guys will be able to see that. Um, I've got a few cars I'm bringing to Vegas. And hopefully I'm able to bring that to Vegas. So anyway, I am going to get started. So on the prep in that. So anyway, so anyway, I'm going to go and you guys have a good weekend and take care. Be safe. Bye.